Gotta bust down soon as he signed. Rolex, baby. Rich hot, bitch hot, clock hot. Hit it to the mall, full going shop. I see you, nigga. Real hood, baby. Like, was What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Color with 3000. I am back at y'all with another damn banger. But by that time, the thumbnail, y'all already know what we about to get up into, gang. So, right now, it is the next day from the previous vlog. I just got to get on big. You know what I'm saying? So, we literally just got done with our. Uh, our we've been done with our 35 reset. We just couldn't operate yesterday because uh, it started, it was snowing bad, it was icy roads, it was just a lot going on yesterday, so we didn't operate yesterday, but we're back on the groove today. Uh, we got the same load, so this load is, I'm taking this empty that I'm about to pick up right now, this is, I'm going to go get live loaded in Nebraska, you find what I'm saying, and then I'm going to take it to an H lot, a one and one uh, H lot. It's not a terminal, but it's like a lot where I can drop the trailer at. They want me to take it there and then drop it. So, hey, y'all already know the grind does not stop. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving y'all, I told you I'm going to be vlogging every load. I'm telling y'all, I'm vlogging every load. So, y'all already know what it is. So, right now I'm currently at the lot. You know what I'm saying? Dark as hell. It's mainly like, bro, this is the first time I ever seen this this Warner terminal. It got, it's Warner. Uh, at, uh, it's called Ashley. I think that's how you call it. Matter of fact, it's Warner, Ashley, this other company in this truck, in these black trucks right here, and then it's a, like a tank company over here and stuff. When we all go through the same interest. So it's like four companies in one lot. You feel me? So, hey, this is the first time, like, but back to what I was saying. This terminal, like, this yard, it mainly got, like, blue, the blue trailers. Like, them blue ones y'all know I be talking about. Like, them right there. I ain't zoom in on it. Them blue trailers right there. That one. Those are the main ones that I see out here, like literally. Like those are the main ones that I see. So let's go ahead and get this motherfucking day started, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's supposed to be good weather today. It's supposed to be it's cold, it's gonna be cold, but it's supposed to be warm too. Well, I ain't gonna say warm, it's cold, but the sun's supposed to be out, so I already know that the road conditions and ain't no snow and ain't no nothing. I ain't gotta worry about no I mean you gotta worry about the wind, but let's hurry up before you know some shit spark up that we don't know about. You feel me? So y'all make sure to like them, subscribe, turn on post notification bells. And let's get this motherfucking day started. Okay. All right, y'all. So everything y'all hear is just the uh, that's the interstate right there. So I'm about to go ahead and just check this out. Mm -hmm. Make sure it ain't no damn surprise. Mm -hmm. All right, it's coochie. Y'all can't see anything, but it's good. Huh? To remind y'all, y'all might think it's dark, but bro, it's early as fuck. It's uh. It's 544 going on 6, so y'all know how that go. We washed clothes yesterday, so we straight on that end. We took us a shower. We good on that end. We feeling fresh, rejuvenated. We ate this morning, you feel me? So let's go ahead and get our day started, you feel me? So y'all already know what it is. Yeah, motherfucker right here. Let's pray for safe travels, you feel me? Hey. hey. Let's go ahead and get our motherfucking day start on the eight, move five, eight, five, oh, five, eight. Quarter pound, half a pound, oh, five, eight. Quarter pound, let the bills up and make the way. Gucci man and Gucci man, make a drop, eight. Yeah, anyway, y'all already know what it is. Let's go ahead and get our day started, and I'll see you at the motherfucking uh, the shipper on gang. At the damn shipper right now. What I'm about to do is get dock, that dock number two right here. They got, I don't know what the fuck is so special, but with this particular one, it got a ramp on it. I'm about to go ahead and get live loaded right quick. And then I get right back with y'all. Oh, dang, bro. He want me to open the doors, slide my channels back. And then he said he'll call my phone whenever I get, whenever they done loading me. But I'm not, we only doing the drop. You find what I'm saying? We only doing the split, I mean. So, yeah. That part. Put my glove on right quick. <laughs> Let me get my palm pilot. Oh, oh, almost dropped you, cut. Gotta stay intact with it. Yeah, gotta keep up, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, gotta keep up, baby. But yeah, I'm just making sure. It's Remind y'all when we got the trailer, it was still dark out. You feel me? So. Come on, bro. About 
that motherfucker was tripping on me. Get people like, why the fuck would you swing in the inside of me, bro? Like, you're just retarded. People lack common sense, my nigga. Get on that old man ass that beat this horn at me. What like, the fuck is you doing? Like, why would you swing where I'm at? Just go the opposite direction because it's more space. It was more like literally when this truck move, I'm gonna show y'all, bro, because it's more space over there than it was where I'm at. I parked straight, like I parked against it, so I wasn't in nobody way. But him being ignorant, doing dumb shit. So hey, you know how that shit goes. So you know, people like him that be feeling like they like. Y'all know it all, bro. Like, that's why I just be like, bro, that's exactly why I don't be fucking with y'all truckers out here, bro. Because y'all motherfuckers be feeling like y'all know it the fuck all. Like, y'all got life figured out. Chill. And then, the nerd, and then he try to, you know how, like, when somebody, like, do something stupid and then they try to look at you like you was in the wrong? That's what he tried to do. But anyway, enough with that, you know, the negative shit. You know I'm saying? We've been starting our morning off good. Don't get me wrong. Like, you know, the weather, it's okay. It's just, the, you know, it's heavy wind. Like, that's the only thing I was, uh, you know, concerned about at first was the wind. But then, you know, I had to start, you know, getting my, like, realize, like, get, starting myself to realize again that this truck don't just roll over easy. You feel what I'm saying? Unless you do some shit. So, with the wind blowing, it's typically going to blow you off balance. And, you know, it might blow, like, if it's ice in the, in the mix of it blowing, it, it might jackknife you. You know, I could say that, but it wasn't no ice. So, you know, it just blow you off balance. But, you know, it's been weather bit, you know, thing was all right, you know, just been worrying about the winds, but when I say, when I be like, uh, it's just to help myself, like, when I be saying, uh, it really helps, though, no cap, like, every time I start a sentence, and I be talking, it's, I think it's because I be talking fast as fuck, I don't even know where the fuck I get that shit from, talking fast, but that ain't my body right there, so I'm, a, next year, we working on our, I figure a speech, factual, so, I'm just letting y'all know what's going on. So right now, what I'm about to do while they doing that, uh, I'm about to figure out, oh, I just uploaded a video for y'all. Literally just uploaded a video for y'all. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, stop playing with me. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, what I'm about to do right now. It was him. Beeping the horn at me like he crazy. But yeah, y'all, what I'm about to do right now is go ahead and get myself situated as far as, like, getting my destinations of where I'm going to go. You know, put it all in my phone as far as like the addresses and stuff, just in case something goes wrong with the co-pilot. I got it on my phone, so you know I ain't lost or nothing. And yeah, so that being said, I see y'all and I see y'all. Bye. All right, y'all. So literally just got done getting live loaded. You found I said I got the paperwork and everything. I, I just submitted it into the damn tablet, but y'all, the fucking load is heavy as shit. Like I'm like, bro, why y'all loading that shit so motherfucking much, bro? Like he just telling me to wait. I'm like, damn, bro. Now I got her. You know, we gotta go to a fuel station and get it weighed so we can see, like, if we overweight on our tandems, our drive. Cause I don't even know, like, you feel what I'm saying, which hole to put it in. Cause, you know, the eighth hole ain't been giving me too much confidence. So I'm gonna go ahead and just throw that motherfucker probably in the 11th hole. I'm, matter of fact, I'm gonna throw it in the 14th hole like I did last time, just for, you know, safety precautions like I did. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm, Mm. Shut up, shut up, man. Show ass up, man. Going my vibe, nigga. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Hell up, man. But yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to go to the uh, a knit, whatever, you know. I'm gonna just go in between my route, like, you feel me? So, like, whenever I get to a, somewhere with a scale, I'll be able to scale it. But as far as I know, I'm in the middle of nowhere, literally. But, uh, yeah, so I'm about, I'm about to see what... I literally just lit the tandems, but I'm sitting here trying to figure out, like, which hole it's in now. So...
but yeah, yeah, that's basically the, the six docks. I was parked over here earlier, literally the abandoned docks right there. I was parked right there. Damn, I ain't slide that bitch nowhere. <laughs> Those shits ain't go nowhere. I thought I slid them, but I didn't. But that's basically what we got going on right now. So I will see y'all at the fucking fuel station. Oh, okay. Chat. So, uh. I just got done uh, scaling it. I got the paper right here. Yeah, I don't think I could. Damn, the wind blowing this shit is fucking it up. But y'all see that, bro? I'm even in weight, bro. If I would have slid the ten to like, I'm in the thirteenth hole, I think. But if I would have slid it to the fourteenth hole, I would have been valid, like more valid than what I am. But you know, I had to do uh here. Now, y'all, I have to get a CB radio. I ain't gonna lie. Now I gotta get it. You feel me? So. I'm gonna get it soon, but not right now. But yeah, because with this one, it's not like a pile of flying chair. I love like when you know you can just push the button and you know they'll be like, okay, they scaled it, you just go in and pay. Now nah, they had like the CB radio, so I had to lie, like, you know, be like, hey, you know, my CB radio uh, died. So she was like, she was gonna give me the green light. I caught her on the CB radio phone. I mean, uh, uh, the scale phone, literally that pole right there. That's the, uh, the scale phone. So I caught her on that motherfucker. And she gave me the green light, so I had to do a three-axle way. So I had to get my stairs, my drives, and my tanners. Okay. You know, that's just me moving extra cautious, but we are, you know, we valid and wait, so we ain't got nothing to worry about. So now it's all about us getting to where the fuck we need to go to. But yeah, yeah, we're operating off of our 11-hour clock. So y'all already know what that is. So I'm about to go ahead and just push everything that I need to the front, like as far as like something to drink, a little snack, juice, whatever push that to the front and then we gone so now on our way to the motherfucking east like of nebraska yeah area but we only got seven hours so it, i think the total of this shit is like six seven hours i think in total so i'm about to hurry up because i really don't know but yeah so most likely we're going to be shutting down in omaha so let's go ahead and get started on our journey okay All right, in fact let me show y'all this right quick I'm actually valid in weight. 32, 32. If I would have slid it to, I think I'm in the 13th fold. If I would have slid it to the 14th fold, that would have been, mm, this would have probably been, what's that, like 20? I can't even really see it. 320, 20, 32, 500. Yeah, I would have been valid. It would have been like two, 270. I would have been at 32, 270 right here. And then I would have been like, like mm, I don't know. I wasn't, I didn't really like math. I mean, history was my shit. History was my shit, you feel me? But y'all already know, let's go ahead and get up on this road, okay? Yeah, I forgot to tell y'all. So when I went, I got scaled, right? I went up in there, right? I went in there, I was like, so I'm looking like the girl, like the girl, like she, I ain't gonna lie, like shorty was like, she was, she was pretty. I ain't even gonna lie, shorty was pretty. So, you know, she, you know, she was laughing and shit. Well, like the moment she seen me, she started smiling, right? So I was like, okay. So I see the scale ticket on the counter. So I'm like, okay. So she just slides it to me. But I got the 20, I had a $20 bill in my hand. So I'm, I'm, my hand is out with the money in my hand. And she just slides the, uh, you know, the, the bill to me. I mean, uh, the tick, uh, the scale ticket to me. So I'm like, you gonna take this motherfucking money or what? You feel me? So I'm like, like she keep on, and then she slid it again, like even closer to me. So I was like, like I, I asked her, I was like, is it free? She was like, oh no. So I was like, baby, if you don't take this goddamn money, if you don't take this damn money, you feel what I'm saying? Because you about to, hey, I was about to run off on y'all right quick. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, uh, uh. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't even playing with them. But let's go ahead and get up on this goddamn road on gang. All right, y'all. So right now we're currently at the goddamn get on fuel station. So we're, uh, I don't know how far I am from the fuel station. But I know for a fact we don't have the time to be playing around because I'm still operating off of my 11 hour clock. But my 14 hour clock and my 11 hour clock are like, I can say like 10, like 20, 30 minutes away from each other. So I'm really like, you know, when we're not driving, we instantly stop our, uh, our 11 hour clock, but your 14 hour DOT keeps on going. So I'm trying to hurry up and get the fuel right quick. But yeah, so once we get the damn fuel, it feel like my damn socks are wet. But yeah, we at the fuel station right now. I got down. Let me clean y'all off right quick. We at the damn fuel station right now, shotty. We at that fuel station. We thugging out here and he's got it on Nebraska streets. Now this is my first time actually coming, coming, you know, to Nebraska, you know, actually touching feet 
home Nebraska, you feel what I'm saying? But hey, we thugging, you know, it's still chilly out this motherfucker, so, uh, that thing, you know, this pump, I don't know what's going on with this pump, but that shit's scaring me, I ain't gonna cut. So, uh, yeah, that's, oh shit. Yeah, I really ain't got much, you know, going on right now. I'm just gonna wait, matter of fact, while y'all here, we gonna see how far we are. I'm a motherfucking P-I-M-P. Cause they said I was supposed to be at a pilot. Well, it's like a pilot boss, boss, Bolson, bo Bolsonman Grand Island. I don't know how to pronounce that shit. I ain't even, you know, yeah. But, uh, we about to see how far we- Let us slow down within the next four yeah, miles. Yeah, gangie, we not making Project. that today. <laughs> we 130 miles away, we ain't making that today, so. Uh, I think I might call it here. Matter of fact, now nah, I'm gonna go down a little bit more further, see if I go. Yeah, I think I might call it. We got an hour left, so you know. I'ma see. You feel me? Yeah, I thought I thought we was gonna be closer, but we not. <laughs> I really thought we was about to be closer to Omaha, but we're 130 miles away from Omaha, so. I'm gonna thug with the little hour and 30 that we got and see how close we can get. Shut that motherfucker down and run this bitch back in the morning. But more for, more for a fact, we're not getting it today. For sure. We're not getting it. So, y'all already know what it is. I'm gonna share like, comment, subscribe, turn on all post notifications. Hey, I'll see y'all motherfuckers in the 8 Okay. gang. What's up with it, y'all? It is currently the next goddamn no morning. But right now, we are at the goddamn on um, East. Lock. You feel what I'm saying? We made it to the cons. You feel me? So what I'm about to do is just drop this one because this is going to be the end of the, vi uh, the damn video. Well, I didn't get the back of the video because the lot is so damn big, right? The only thing I did was just whip in the spot and that was it. So that's all it is, y'all. But uh, let me... Y'all niggas is talking real reckless in the comments, bro. And that's one thing I ain't about to have. Like, I, it's not about the fact I'm defending myself. It's the fact of having fucking common sense. Y'all motherfuckers in the comments trying to act like y'all are big bodies y'all motherfuckers talking about so y'all remember the last video i posted when i was like i had to pull over because i i got stuck in uh wyoming the uh the snowstorm in wyoming y'all motherfuckers in the comments acting dumb as fuck and it's coming from the older people and it and that's the crazy part about it it's coming from y'all old motherfuckers and but it makes sense now you feel what i'm saying but bro y'all niggas out here acting like y'all are the perfect motherfucker bro and that is just absurd bro it like it makes no damn sense bro i'm humble so it gives a difference if a motherfucker came in the comments and y'all actually gave knowledge like okay some people saying it was safe for me to pull over some of y'all talking about oh that was easy that's light work i want you to drive and fuck up weather and 26 mile per hour wind with snow and black ice and i want to see if it, your response is still the fucking same y'all motherfuckers acting like y'all are this, just the shit out here stunting in the fucking comments, bro. Don't be capping, bro. That's one thing about me, bro. I'm an honest motherfucker, but bro, don't be in this motherfucking line talking about some. Oh, it was. If you can't handle the truth, don't make the content. What truth? Y'all motherfuckers in this comments lying out your ass. Like y'all motherfuckers know damn well y'all buy y'all not cut like that. Your heart don't beat like that, and you for damn sure ain't about to make stupid fucking decisions. Y'all motherfuckers not out here doing that shit. Half y'all motherfuckers talking. If y'all ever driving that wind, y'all doing that shit with a fucking secure load. So the weight is securing your trailer. Y'all not doing that shit with a fucking empty trailer. Y'all not. And that's me telling y'all y'all not. Come on, bro. Y'all niggas are being stupid in the comments. That's why I hate making trucker content because y'all niggas are just fucking miserable and y'all are a complete liars, bro. Y'all act like y'all perfect when you're or not. You feel what I'm saying? So, bro, y'all motherfuckers is like, bro. Like, I swear, I know for a fact I'm not going to be doing this trucking content shit for that long. And it ain't because of y'all motherfuckers because my goal is not trucking. You feel what I'm saying? I do this shit because I like it. Trucking is, you know, it's done a lot for me. You feel what I'm saying? And I appreciate it. But trucking is not my end goal. Trucking, y'all, half of y'all, like, it's an honest, like, this is my honest truth. Half of y'all don't fucking became slaves to trucking, bro. Honestly. And it shows. You feel what I'm saying? Like, y'all came, y'all became slaves to trucking. Because you know damn well, trucking wasn't your goal. Y'all just do this shit. Just like I'm doing this shit. You feel what I'm saying? So, hey. To each his own. You hear me? But yeah, I just had to address that, bro. Because y'all motherfuckers are straight ignorant, bro. At its most best. One talking about something. Oh, you a hothead. Boy, you ain't never, boy. 
you will never ever a day in your life see me as a hothead and half of y'all talking crazy in the comments will not dare to say that to me in real life ever and a lot of y'all and it's crazy because y'all motherfuckers be like bro the older truckers hate the younger community of truckers bro they hate them so badly for no fucking reason and y'all don't even know me y'all hate y'all hate on me so bad and y'all don't even fucking know me. Like, bro, y'all be, I, bro, and it's crazy because I be seeing this shit. The same motherfuckers who be commenting in my shit when you see the comments in the female trucker shit. Bro, these niggas in there cheating on their wife. Keep that freaky shit on your page or my uncle. But got some hatred shit to uh, say to me. Because if it was a female trucker and she did some shit like that, y'all be like, oh, yeah, you did the right thing. Y'all y'all just some biased motherfuckers. That's all it is, bro. Y'all some biased ass motherfuckers, bro. And y'all niggas... <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you, bro. I'm only showing love to the people who support this shit. And yeah, you feel what I'm saying? I'm giving trucking from a young nigga's point of view. I'm having fun with this shit. I'm not getting too deep into trucking. Why? Because trucking is not my end goal, you dummy. Bitch. You feel what I'm saying? Trucking is not my end goal, bro. I'm just doing this shit because I'm having fun with it. I like it. You feel me? I'm exploring new shit. I'm getting to see shit i never seen. Hey, ain't none of y'all niggas gonna knock me off my score. Ain't none of y'all moving me, not a nair, not a bit. Just because I respond to your comments, please don't don't make it seem like I am moved or pressed by it. I'm totally not. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not. You don't move your boy. You hear me? You hating is only making me better because it's obviously showing that I'm doing my fucking job the right way because you hating. Now, I show respect to the motherfuckers who come in the comments and they be like, you know, and I seen the, you know, certain comments from older truckers. You feel what I'm saying? You only run to a certain felt, like a certain amount of few cool ass truckers who actually give knowledge instead of getting in the comments hating on some shit or saying some ignorant shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like some people are like, oh, you know, one older trucker, he said from one older trucker uh, to another, he was driving for 55 fucking years and he said it was safe that I pulled over because the wind could have flipped the fucking truck, uh, the trailer over with the truck. So, and a lot of the other y'all talking, talking just crazy. I'm just like, bro, y'all y'all just some biased motherfuckers, bro. It makes no sense, bro. Like, y'all are just toxic, bro. Like, y'all are just toxic. But y'all be in a fucking female trucker's comment section cheating on your wife. That's the crazy part to me. Y'all want to hate on me, but be in they comments cheating. That shit is biased. Even when they not even doing this shit the right way. Half of these motherfuckers, they just do trucking just to be cool. Half of them do trucking just to goddamn it on BQ. Bruh, I just do this shit and make my content, bro. And I'm having fun. Why? Because I'm my fucking self when I do it. But, bro, let me, uh, let me say this. <laughs> I will never, ever, <laughs> bro, life will go down in hell before y'all ever say I was scared of anything or feared anything or scared of any kind of wind. Bro, I'm driving with an empty trailer. The shit is moot. Like, bro, it's going 26 miles per hour and it's smacking the fuck out of this empty trailer. Bro, you about to, you jackknife twice. What is it to be scared about? It's about being aware. Like, okay, at this point, it's not safe. It's not about being scared. It's about being fucking smart. And a lot of y'all lack common fucking sense. Because y'all the type of, oh, I'm going to jackknife four times, but I'm going to keep on going. And then your dumb ass in the fucking ditch calling fucking dispatch, which might potentially you losing your fucking job. And then on top of that, you will have to go through all types of shit in a fucking snowstorm. I'm not doing that, bro. Y'all niggas are just sped. That's all it is. You hear me? But anyway, to the people who actually showing love to me and fuck with me for me and supporting my content for, you no, know, the shit that I do regardless, you feel what I'm saying? I fucks with y'all and I see y'all in the comments and I know who y'all are. You feel what I'm saying? So, that's just that. Fuck the negative motherfuckers. Y'all niggas gonna hate regardless. But, bro, y'all niggas is not moving me because at the end of the day, another video is gonna get posted, another hater is gonna comment, and then guess what? The same shit is going to recycle and recycle and recycle because actually I'm doing something y'all motherfuckers not because half of y'all niggas is not even in my position. Honestly, your only source of income is trucking. I got different sources of income. I could do like, even if I stop doing this shit, I am straight. You're not. Honest opinion. And that's me talking my shit. You feel what I'm saying? I'm very humble, but I have to talk my shit for a motherfucker right quick. But y'all already know what it is, man. It's your boy, motherfucking Kylo the Three Times. We got us a pre assigned load. We about to get on phone that. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's an appointment time for that. And hey, I'll see y'all next movie. Gang. Okay. Let's go.